This is the first episode of the tour around the Puerto Rico to find the perfect 10 out of 10 beach. Mira, tú estás bien, yo mira. Puerto Rico. I have US uh, tourist visa. Uh, one hour, 15 minutes, customs. There has been many questions related to what I'm gonna do in Puerto Rico. Renting a car in San Juan airport is expensive. I'm choosing easy rental company which provides free shuttle bus and only five minute drive from the airport. Now on the search for a uh, SIM card. I want Claro or AT&T. Oh, SIM card. I wanna send you to a car rental uh, five days uh, $120 which is a really good deal total of $200 is including the full insurance and the reality of Puerto Rico this is another example of what kind of cars people are driving look sim cards for me hola amigo bien y tú $20 wow expensive expensive for one gigabyte one gigabyte oh my god the capital San Juan do not have many attractions to offer. I do like nature and discovering new places. Everybody use the horn. Beep, 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 beep. Today I'm driving around the coast and heading to Ponce, which is located on the west part of the island. I like driving on the coast because you can stop anytime when you see the beach. There are many interesting places and sometimes you can get lucky to find a beautiful beach which is not described on internet or a tourist guide. Oof, it's so salty. I smell so much salt. I just did a quick stop and it looks horrible. Oh my god, look at this, look at the, the rubbish. Look how many uh, plastics. Look at, the, look at the basura, oh my god. I need to get out of the uh, area of San Juan. I did not see a beach like this for a long time en seres, muebles y la tecnología que deseas I don't have to drive far I see access to another beach which is Playa Dorada in translation Golden Beach out the car see the beach estoy grabando por YouTube amigo ¿De dónde tú eres? Papi, aquí estamos en Televita, un saludo al bro de la que esto es la Mira, tú estás bien, yo mira. Y yeah, es Genesis, la bro de la California, eh, pues te digo, papi, le evitamos la casa. ¿Cómo, hey. ¿Cómo se llama aquí? Eh, hey, papi, Johnny, bro. Yeah. Un placer. Un placer, papi. ¿Y Ajá. aquí la playa bonita? Papi, la playa súper chévere, en verdad, papi, todo el mundo puede disfrutar, está limpia, súper clara, papi, no, no, disfruta de toda la playa, papi, exactamente para YouTube, espero que lo suba, papi. Hasta luego. For the location and easy access, I can give this beach 6 out of 10. I'm not spending here much time because I'm sure Puerto Rico has got better places to offer. My search for 10 out of 10 beach continues. There you go, another beach uh, on the coast in Puerto Rico. Maybe 50 miles from uh, San Juan. Looking good. Basically, I could stay here in the beach all day amazing place to uh, chill and relax I, outside the city completely no people so it was just a little stop
sol en mi casa. Cabrón me apela, Jesucristo me abraza. Guerrero como Eddie, que viva la raza. Donde quiero que se la vive, mami, es la rosa. Engine stop. Looks like yuca. Full of water. Cheese. I like cheese. Let's have a look at something. I know Polish vodka. Mm, yes. Hola. Tú sabes, yo soy cerca de Playa Chiquita. Ah, okay. Gracias. Okay. Star engine. Mm. Maybe from here I can see where's the access to the beach. Welcome to Playa Chiquita. In translation, it's a tiny beach. It must be parked here in the weekend because today is Tuesday. Oh, access to the water is through the rock. But it's amazing how the nature has created this place. Look, there is a there is an entrance from the fresh water. I've never been in a beach with unusual shape like this. Hey, Puerto Rico! Hola. Dímelo. Aquí muy bonito. ¿Te gusta aquí? Sí, yo soy de aquí. ¿Y cómo aquí? Buenísimo. I do like to talk to local people. You can always get a good advice where to go or what to be aware of. Hay mucha, aquí mucha. Ok, ¿cuál, cuál me recomiendas más? ¿Cómo? Boquerón. ¿Es uh, mucha naturaleza o mucha gente? Ok. Estoy buscando uh, playa um, como virgen. No, no mucha gente, no comercial, eso, ese tipo. Yo soy polaco. I left my shoes over there. Playa Chiquita is a great beach to visit. I recommend it, but to come here during the weekdays because it's just too crowded at the weekends. This beach deserves 7 out of 10, and that's my personal opinion. I'm heading to uh, Playa Sucia and hoping it's gonna be beautiful there. I have some information that it is worth going. These guys, they just came from a boat. Uh, they were fishing for langostas. I would like to see uh, the langosta they have. And also big fish just over there. It's amazing. Oh, you want lobsters? Yes. Hi guys. Hi. How is it going? This is a good one. Yeah. You got three and a half. They'll, they'll be fine. You have any more fish for sale? Um, we got red snapper. Okay. Is there a possibility I can go uh, deep fishing with somebody? Today. I came here today to explore the area okay. just to see uh, you know what's good here. Yeah. Cuatro y media. Yeah, this is nice. This is really big. A lot of meat. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any islands here around? A la Isla Mona. Uh, Isla Lemona. Yeah, that's around 47 miles from here. Okay, gracias por todo. Hasta luego. Okay. Nice to meet you. Okay. So, as you see, it's so easy to buy lobsters and a three and a, three and a half pound of lobster for twenty-eight dollars, which is a very good deal for the really fresh lobster. This is gonna be a great dinner. 
I have a fresh lobster, but to make it very tasty, I need to buy some ingredients. Hello? Do you have garlic? Yeah. You have? And butter? Yeah. I'll take this one. I have all my ingredients for my lunch. A butter and a garlic. I need to get a good knife because the lobster, the tail is pretty hard. And you, what you have to do is like, you have to, you have to open it a certain way. Let me find out about going to some restaurants. I'm happy that I came to this beach. It is ticking all the boxes for me. And on the top of that, I will make my own lunch directly at the seafront. Welcome to the Caribbean. One of the best places to enjoy your vacation in the world. You don't want to go for a boring all-inclusive vacation all-inclusive hotels are good. If you're lazy, you don't want to do anything, you just want to get more fat. But the real vacation and the real beach, that's this. Now you are going to experience that it's possible to go to the beach and make your own lunch without knowing anybody. For some people, this might be a little bit strange, but for me, it's a regular day. Gracias. I want to jump in into the water, but I'm getting hungry now, so maybe better if I cook the lunch first. Gracias. Mira, yo quiero cocinar mi mi almuerzo. As you see, I'm in the kitchen now. Look at this. Señor Burger. Señor Burger. And yeah. What's your name? Angel. Michael. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, I just cut the lobsters. Yeah. It's very important to take the guts out. These parts here. If you don't take them out, your lobster is gonna, is gonna uh, taste very bad. But basically, you're gonna eat the shit from the lobster. You don't want that. It is also very important that you are enjoying your cooking. If you cook with love, it's gonna taste much better. And you are Puerto Rican? Yes, sir. Have you been living here all your life? No, I live in, uh, in the north. Uh, part of the island. Um, San Juan? Uh, San Juan, yeah. Okay. I came here to do a little business. Oh, that's nice. And relax. <laughs> this is the place to relax. Yeah, yeah. Here you can uh, enjoy a lot. It's very beautiful. It's like, what about the night? It's uh, the night's a party. A party going on. So you have a burgers here. What else do you have here? Burger, wings, chili nachos, uh, fish tacos, uh, shrimp. This is the hardest part. Now, what I have to do, I have to put the garlic and the butter. Welcome from the beach in Puerto Rico. This is how to enjoy your vacation, look. I have prepared the lobster, my favorite. The best part about lobster is that it's very easy to prepare. I've asked some random people at the beach if I can use the barbecue and they say yes. This is how friendly people are in Puerto Rico. So this is how easy it is to prepare. I've only put the butter and the garlic. I'm gonna make it uh, on the barbecue for at least um, eight minutes. Eight minutes should be enough because those lobsters, they are not that big. Lunch in the Caribbean. Barbecue, beach and beautiful food i mean i was gonna say beautiful girls and very good food i'm sharing my food with new friends from senor burger restaurant the barbecue at the beach was not given enough temperature and cooking was slow i'm making the other lobster here at the bar and sue will take it to eat it at the beach Disfrútalo.
Welcome to the Caribbean experience. Look at that. Mm, oh my god. I'm gonna eat it with my fingers. I don't I don't really care. I'm really enjoying it. Mm, oh my god. I wish you were here enjoying it with me. Oh my god, look at this. I'm in heaven. This is so good. I'm leaving this beautiful beach and I'm happy to give it 9 out of 10. My search for the 10 out of 10 is still on. Stay tuned to experience the best beach with me. I'm like, hey, what's up, hello? Since you're pretty, you told me you came in the door. I just wanna chill, got a sack for my store. Married to the 